It's Fuse. Yes, this is the one and only Fuse ODG representing that new Africa. And you are now tuning to one of the best podcasts on the planet. The Afrobeats podcast with Adi Shope. Stay tuned and don't go nowhere. Ra, ra, ra. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another edition of Adi Chopin Live, the official Afrobeats podcast. This is where we break down the official or the different topics in the culture, and also sometimes we bring out a guest to sit down with me one on one to talk to me about what's been going on. As always, keep subscribing, liking, sharing. We appreciate the support. And this week, I've got a superstar in the building, one of the people to really enjoy what Afro Beats is right now and pick the cherry off the top. This is the five-time top ten hit maker. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my brother out of the west side of Africa, Go Coast, to be exact, is New Africa. Fuse on DJ! And that was a good intro, bro. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Listen, that's that's... I try to make sure that the intros are personal to me, how I feel about the person, yeah, what yeah. I know about the person, yes. and it makes it more exciting every time when yeah, I get a guest yeah, come yeah. in. Fuse, <laughs> listen, it's been a hell of a journey, my <laughs> it's brother. Been a, oh, yeah, it's been a mad journey, bro. <laughs> it's been a mad journey, man. And obviously, you, you've been there, mm. you know you know how the journey's been mm. for myself and for the whole movement, yeah. you know, Afrobeats. You've seen how far we've come yeah. and you see, now you see the yeah. reality Facts. of the seeds of, of that we've planted. Facts. So it's been beautiful and we must really carry on pushing it. Facts, you facts. Know? You know the funny thing? I was checking some clips um, a couple of months ago, uh, just checking some of the clips of exciting times like 10, 12 years ago and about 11 years ago when we had the Afrobeats Festival press conference, mm -hmm. I had a clip and I just saw you walk past in the clip and you were carrying a camera. Wow. In that clip. That is deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, you were yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I just yeah. said, pause. I said, that's my brother Fuse ODG. Wow. With a camera in hand. Wow. I think Whiskey was on stage, P-Square was yeah, on stage, yeah, 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 yeah. and you were part of the press group. Yeah, 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 yeah. At yeah, that yeah. time, nobody knew you were a budding artist, yeah, yeah. but you were also creative. Talk to yeah. me about them ties there, yeah, when you it. had to do extra things, even yeah. though your dream was to become a musician. Yeah, man, I mean, music has always been my passion. Mm. You know, I'd always been making music from early when I was in secondary school, college, uni, do you mm. get me? Like, and even the time that you, you know, you say you caught me on yeah. camera, holding the camera, yeah. you know, that was me hustling. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and I remember at the time I was working with Eddie. Mm. And um, for me, I had just come back from Ghana as well, actually at that time. And I was so pumped up about the, the sound, the culture. Do you know what I'm saying? So for me, any moment for me to, yes for me to even learn and watch what was happening like I just wanted to be there so and Eddie felt the same way hmm. do you understand and and both of us had what we were very passionate about and what we knew we were good at which is making music but at the same time hmm. we were still willing to do whatever it took to, to push us you forward you understand so it was very inspiring just even being there and witnessing hmm. you know like such a a, a, a I don't even like the, the seed. Just yes. just witnessing the, the seed. Yeah. Do you understand? So and it, and and just and just seeing how passionate everybody else was as well. And even though right. we didn't know where where, it, we, were going. where we were going, we just knew that this is what this. We just knew we had to move. Absolutely. Do you know what I'm saying? So everybody was just doing their thing. So for me, um, that was something that would place me closer to my dream. Facts. Do you get it? And I feel like some people, people need to learn how to be humble and embrace humility mm. in order to, to, to get closer to your dream. Hmm. You know, you need to, but once you know where or what your vision is and how far you, you how far you know you can get, you, you know that your future is bigger than your now. Mm. So you're willing to sacrifice. Do you understand? You're willing to sacrifice and play various roles, put on different caps in order to get you closer to your dreams. So for me, that was just one of them. You know, and I was more than happy to serve. Talk, 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 Do you understand? Talk, I was more than happy talk to, to serve. Talk to me about like, service. You have, yes. A lot of people nowadays don't, they just want to, I saw a clip on social media where a rapper said, everybody wants to come out of the gate, stop balling, 
you know, fast yeah, cars, yeah, having yeah, hit yeah, records, yeah, yeah. but forgetting that some of the greats and most of the greats had periods of service. Yeah. How important is service to you as a person and to growth yeah. as a creative? Yeah. For me, it's, 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 it's everything hmm. because even Jesus was serving the people. Uh, God serves his children. Do you understand? A father talk. serves his son. A mother serves the Fact. household. Fact. Do you understand? So life is all about service. You need to know that for you to become a leader, you have to know how to serve. Hmm. Because even as a leader, you have to serve the team. Hmm. And sometimes it's not, a leader is not necessarily somebody at the, at the forefront. forefront. You know, sometimes you have to lead from the back. Do you get it? Like you have to actually lead from the back, make sure everything is cool. So for me, serving is key hmm. to you actually achieving your dreams. And I feel like if everybody had that same mentality Facts. to serve, Facts. everybody's mission and, and dreams would be easier to achieve. Facts. Um, Facts. And for, yeah, and for me, it was more than a pleasure. And I, I, I still have that heart of service, hmm. you know, for me to continue to serve people because there's a blessing Absolutely. In, in serving. Yep. There's yep. so much blessings in, in, in serving. And it was actually through that, you know, obviously me and Eddie got so close, passionate about the same thing, pushing Afrobeats mm. forward. And at the time, you know, I've seen me working with Killbeat. But mm. at the same time, I'm trying to link Killbeat with the people that I'd bump into because wow. I'm not, you understand? You so still kinda... Yes, I'm like, yo, I, I just, I'm working with a producer called Killbeat. He's, mm. he's just come from Ghana. This is what we're working on. This is what I do. Do you know what I'm saying? It was just a, a way to kind of network and connect to different people. Um, and it was through that that I even met Ricky. Davis. Ricky Davis. Shout Rick Ricky is one of the pioneers. One of the talk that talk. Yeah, one of the most important like figures in in terms of the progression 1, of percent. of Afrobeats because she was she's just selfless. Hmm. And when we're talking about service and and actually serving, That's her. Ricky is just selfless and she just does things just for the progression of Facts. of the movement. Facts. And I remember. Um, after one of those conferences, yes, you know, got in a car. I think me, Ricky, maybe Eddie was in a car as well. And I was like, oh, Ricky, hear the song that um, I've just made with Kill B. And it was Azonto. <laughs> I played it to her. And she was like, oh, Fuse, this is sick, you know, bro. I'm like, yeah, like, boy, I didn't know you were sick like that, you know. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, it's a vibe. And then she goes, um, and I go, yeah, so what I'm trying to do is like, I'm trying to um, introduce this dance. Um, to, to the UK because everyone was doing it in Ghana. And I'm like, Ricky, do you know any dancers that can do the Zonto or that can at least help me simplify it? And then she connected me with another guy called um, Alex, who's Press Play. And, pre and, press, and press Play at that time um, just started doing a Zonto kind of, they had Afro marks. Yeah. So I, as soon as she showed me that, I said, I need to connect with these guys. So Ricky gave me the details. I linked up with them the following week. Wow. And I shot Azonto, the people with the, the two masks. But the reason why I was able to shoot is because Christ. God had prepared me from <gasps> the services. Do you understand? From how I've been that serving other people. Exactly. As a server exactly. Eventually exactly. propelled. Exactly. Your so that's how I actually shot that. Alex was there. Alex Pressplay was there. But he actually did behind the scenes. And I held the camera and I shot the two. Wow. The guy and the girl in the mask, I'm the one who shot that. I edited it. And as soon as I shot and edited that, it was, and I was able to do it quick. Shot it the following day, edited, done. The, the first day was out, bang, viral. Oh. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Listen. Like, it's you're, crazy. You're, we're talking about viral now. Everybody's saying TikTok and Instagram. Mm. But you were like, your hits. Yeah. Where viral, viral, yeah. Zonto, yeah. Antenna, yeah. shut it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy, I know. And again, it, it wasn't so planned. It was just going with that energy of, of serving. Mm. I'm like, and, and it's so mad that this theme of like, you know, being a servant has actually um, come into this conversation. Mm. Like, it's like I was serving blindly, but God knew what was ahead of me. Hmm. Do you get it? So when the door opened, I was so ready. 
because, hey, because yeah, because experience. anything that anybody's gonna do for me, I'd already done it. Whether it's mixing a song, I mixed a song myself. Hmm. Um, what? I, I mixed a song to myself. I mixed antenna myself. So every anything that anybody's doing for me now, I've already done it because I done served other people doing it. Do you understand? So and that's why our movement is hmm. different because. We know everything that somebody else is doing, we already know. We're the ones who planted the seed. We've set the foundation, you wow. know. And, and, and once you, you set a strong foundation with a good team, Mr. Hackett, oh, Hackett he's been, been there from day been one there. as well. <laughs> Hackett's been there. <laughs> he's been there from day one as well, you know. Once you have a strong foundation, no matter what happens, you're always going to build. Even if that building breaks down. <laughs> You're always going to be able Put to build. Back exactly. Up and build it back yeah. up. We and talk about a Zonto, we talk about Antenna. We've got Million Pound Girl. Uh, five top 10 singles. You had a number yeah. three single in the UK. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Yeah. Let's give a round of applause rah, for that. Rah, 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 Over rah. a million <laughs> units moved in the United Kingdom yeah. as an official yeah. Afrobeats artist. Yeah. I'm talking some of the accolades that. Other people are enjoying, like, 10 years down the line. You've yeah. got your Burner Boys. You've got yeah. your CKs. Mm -hmm. You've got your Fire Boys. Mm -hmm. These are accolades you picked up yeah. about a decade ago. Yeah. Yeah. Because God God knew what he was doing with us. Um, and he knew that we were the type of people that wouldn't just get lost in the success, but rather use it to build. Mm. And, 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 and that's why... It was us because we made sure that we used it as a way to propel how people see the continent. Mm. How can we change how people see us? How can we change how we as Africans see ourselves? And we did that. Now we have Africans who are so proud yes. Yes. of who they are. Absolutely. Like back in the day, it, it just was not cool. To even say that you're from Nigeria, nah. to say that you're from Ghana, nah, to you know what I'm saying? Now we're part of the conversation. Mm. You know, we're part of the conversation. It's such a different time. And I honestly feel like God positioned us where mm. he, how he did it, just because he knew that the success was going to come with changing lives and changing mentalities and pushing Africa as a continent forward, forward through us. Talking about changing lives, changing mentalities, I remember like maybe like 2014 or 15 at the time when, you know, you're killing the charts. Million yeah. Pan Girl is ringing. In, in a lot of opinions, the first official Afro Bashment record. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Yeah. <laughs> so go, go, go Google that. You know, let's get back to it. But um, when you were killing the charts and Everybody was trying to collaborate with you. Different cultures were reaching out to you. At the time, I think it was Bob Geldof that reached out yeah, to you to yeah. be a part of a record. Band Aid. Band Aid. Yeah. And you were very vocal in turning that down yeah. because of the image and the lyrics you felt yeah. didn't pro project us. Yeah. Pro that was brave, my yeah. brother. This is where a lot yeah. of people are dreaming to go to. Yeah. Yeah. And you said no yeah. because of your people. Yeah. And if, if you could put the lyrics up on the screen now, imagine mm. if you put the lyrics up now and people were reading it. Now there will, there will be such an outrage. Mm. Now there will be such an outrage. Like there's no peace and joy in Africa this Christmas. That's the lyrics. Oh. That's the lyrics. And where do people go every Christmas now? For peace and joy in Africa. And oh. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> yeah. No exactly. way. Yeah. There will be such an outrage now. But we already knew that mm. there's no way that you're going to paint this place to be a dark place like it's hell for people to just give their two pound a month and just move on with their life. We want people to actually come and have a good time and invest. And invest and touch the people. And that's what's happening. And that's what's happening. We're not a charity. You understand? In fact, you would now you want to partner with us because you know that we can benefit you. Hmm. And that's what's happening now. Were you at that time? Because, you know, a lot of people would have been scared of, like, yo, being blackballed and yeah. all this stuff. Did you think about those things? Did you, when you said no to that, based on, because you're even speaking to someone like me who always yeah. felt like, yeah, I knew what was going on. I didn't even deep. The lyrics the yeah. way you did. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. When you scared of being black, bald, and, and the powers that be just being like, yo, man, that black guy that we gave, <laughs> let come in, it's about time to shut the door. <laughs> the, I'm, I think I'm a different breed mm. to other artists. Um, I even said in my mobile speech, in my mobile speech, I said I'm already dead. Mm. If you actually watch the mobile speech, I, I already sacrificed myself and I said that I'm going to do everything that I can for... Africans to be proud of who they are, for people to respect us as Africans. So for me, this it's, this battle is already bigger than me. I'm just a vessel. <laughs> do you understand? So if another flesh, you know, is is no other flesh is, is more powerful than me. Mm. Do you understand? Only God is it's God is the is is it's the biggest it's divine being. Do you understand? So so for me. My happiness is in doing what's right for my soul, for my people. Um, and again, I'm inspired by people like, you know, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, um, do you understand, Fela Kuti, um, Bob Marley, mm. do you understand? I'm, in, I'm inspired by Thomas Sankara. So these are people, these, these, these are my teachers, the do you understand? So I'm a different breed, so I, I, I'm not really someone who thinks about what's going to you know, what another man is mm. going to do. Do you understand? I look at the bigger picture as to how are my kids going to survive in the future? How are... Because one day I'm going to be an ancestor. Facts. One day you're going to be an ancestor. Facts. And you want to do... You want to set a benchmark or you want to set an example that other people can look at Absolutely. and actually follow. You want to do the right thing. Mm. You know, and and that's, that, that's, that's the only way to live, to be honest. Just Absolutely. doing the right thing. Um, and... Again, he's doing his right thing hmm. because he has his vision and his agenda. And I'm doing my right I thing think. according to my vision and my agenda. And that's for the progression of the continent, Absolutely. progression of Afrobeats, progression of us as a people. And our, our younger kids feeling proud of who they are. If I had done that, that's me co-signing something that wasn't true. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't have sat right with my soul. And my energy. So and I and I respectfully had a, a nice conversation with him, you know, explaining my side of the story and that's 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 that. Listen, you talk about the younger ones, the kids, uh being proud of where they've come from. I've got I've got a teenager now, she's sixteen years wow. old, born and raised well in Essex. Done, However, she's now her generation, they're different breed now. Different bro. Because of I remember, I tell you this, bro. When she was in nursery school, like mm -hmm. primary school, mm -hmm. she came home from Christmas party and said, Daddy, they played one Afrobeat song wow. in school today. It yeah. was Antenna. Wow, you imagine that. She was so, you yeah. should have seen yeah. her eyes. Like, she yeah. was so proud. Because yeah. I used to play, like, DJ Neptizzle's mixtapes in the yeah. car yeah. When, when she was a baby. So, so a lot of hair, the songs that she was listening one to. Of those. So she heard it yeah. in school. She came home to tell me. Now, fast forward to her finishing GCSEs, and she's telling me that, you know, the Christmas party, they yeah. control that yeah. the playlist. Yeah. yeah. And nearly 70% of the playlist yeah. is Afrobeat Afro music. Yeah. And, and I've had a lot of people tell me about Antenna being played in, in their school and yeah. just them feeling that sense of pride Absolutely. and identity Absolutely. and them feeling represented. Facts. It's everything. Facts. And I've got a little sister who also just turned 16 mm. and um, I, I took her to the prom. Oh. I, yeah, I took her and her friends, her two friends to the prom and it was so nice in the car, all they played was Afrobeat. That's all they want to hear. Just singing, so dancing, proud. loud. It was a serious party in the car, and it was all Afrobeats. And we never had that. Fucks. We never had that, even at the prom. Hmm. You never hear no Afrobeats there. Hmm. The kind of music they played, it never represented us. So it, it's so funny. For her, it's just normal. Yes. But for me, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, wow, this is, this is why. Listen, did, she said, is, when she talked about her playlist, she said, oh, I help select the playlist, you know, because I'm, I'm one of the most <laughs> af in school. And she's thinking <laughs> wow, most af in school. Most F, wow. And I'm thinking to myself, like, if only That's you knew. That's a rebrand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rebrand. If only you knew wow. 15 years ago what? when being called an af, af was. Hey. 
and she was feeling on top of the world mm-hmm. for that, mm-hmm. you know. And and that's just as you said, a testament to the work that we've all put in. Yeah, now yeah. you you skimmed past the mobile like it was nothing. You <laughs> are a two time winning. Oh, I think it's three. Mo- three it's, time it's winning three, yeah. <laughs> mobile award. Ra, 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 Not ra. only winner, but you also perform live yeah, yeah. on TV. And I remember that the was a moment. Yeah. I had that was a moment. in my living room yeah. watching, watching Channel on national 4. TV. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. Uh, yeah, bro. seeing our culture on TV like that. That had never happened before. The mobiles had never experienced anything like that before. Man. And it's it's just beautiful to have been a part of that. And mm. again, that's why it had to be bigger than just the music. Mm. You know, it, it had to be a movement, something that makes an impact on the next generation Absolutely. and the generation after that. And that's what's happening now. Just seeing our kids be so proud Facts. of being African. How can someone say like I was the most African? I'm telling and you. And it's a cool thing. And it's a cool thing. I'm like, oh, wow. if only you knew. Yeah. And now I remember those times when we were on Twitter kicking off a BET for giving us awards in backstage, the back, yeah. backstage. And yeah. You refuse to go to America yeah. saying yeah. they need to treat us right. Yeah. Yeah. And now they're not only giving us awards on stage, yeah. they're getting the likes of Fireboy yeah. and, you know, and Burner Boy Yo. and all of these guys performing yeah. on those That stages. tweet that I tweeted, yeah, you know that caused a major uh, fire in the BET offices. Of course. Like, <laughs> and it's so crazy. Like, I'm not, like now... It would be so ridiculous to give us awards backstage. Facts. It would just be so ridiculous. But why do it in the first place? Hmm. BET is, is black. black entertainment. Black is Africa. Do you know what I'm saying? But now people are now registering that Africa comes before black. Hmm. Do you understand? Like, Africa is the root. Like, top, 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 bro. We are all Africans. Facts. And I think before. And I think it's still a work in progress. Black yes. is black is so disassociated from Africa. And that's why when Americans are saying Black Lives Matter and something happens in Africa in, in Sierra Leone. Yeah, they, it, they, it, it doesn't it, register. It, it doesn't register. With Facts. Mm. But now it's getting closer and closer. Facts. And we need to make sure that black and Africa become one. Mm. So when something happens in Africa, Americans Cut. are all behind it. Speak up. But they're, com- ha- they're coming to Ghana again. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming listen, to Ghana listen, again. Shout out so to the conversations Ghana. are happening. Listen, shout that's out the great thing. Shout out to Ghanaians for opening their doors mm. to the rest of the world. Yeah. Black diaspora uh, being welcoming, yeah. Yeah. making Ghana a home. Yeah. Whether you're Nigerian, Jamaican, Barbados, anybody. Yeah. Ghana. Yeah. Talk to me about that sense of welcome yeah. that, that Ghana has. So, man. Ghana has always been like that, hmm. you know, um, naturally. And I feel like Ghana has this blessing that not even Ghanaians realize. Hmm. Um, and it has this energy that I don't think Ghanaians even know the value of that energy because it's not tangible. It's like when you land, there's this sense of belonging. Facts. Right? And that's what allowed someone like Felakuti to spend time in Ghana yep. and and be inspired and yep. be able to, you know, connect with local musicians Facts. and be able to actually help create this Afrobeat sound Facts. that we now have. Facts. You know, he was able to spend a lot of time there. Yes. And a lot of Afrobeat artists now, now. even spending a lot of time 1, 000, in Ghana, 1, making music in Ghana, even the groove of what you're hearing of Afrobeat is... High life. Yes, it's all from Ghana. And Source. another thing that people haven't even realized that Ghana's always been welcoming was Martin Luther King was there when, when Ghana gained independence. <gasps> when Nkrumah was giving his speech on the day of independence, right? Martin Luther King was there because he said he had to be there no matter what because that was the first time, that would have been his first time seeing... Black mm. people being liberated like the like like that. Mm. So he had he said it inspired him mm. to go, go back. back to America like Push ginger, like like he's ready, like the civil rights movement, like he's ready to liberate his people. Like mm. he said he had to be there. And again, he felt a sense of belonging. Do you understand? And he re- it was also one of his his vision to bring 
his people, people back, back home, home. Yes. same as Malcolm X. Yes. yes. Do you understand? So Ghana's always had this energy of of welcoming people and just bringing a diaspora together. So mm. I guess I wouldn't even say it's the president that that did it. It's the energy. It's the energy. <laughs> it's the energy. It's the energy the that energy. did it. And obviously with everything else that we're doing as well. Obviously yes. for me as well, I'm always Music. like, yeah, you guys need to come to God, come, come home, come home. Come here. Come you understand? Home. So come home. It's, it's all the different energies put together and that's that's what's really kind of allowed people to breathe and come breathe in Ghana and relax and feel feel inspired. And that's how the year of return happened. Mm, um, and yeah, and, and Ghanaians themselves are also very welcome. Absolutely, as absolutely. Well. You know, Absolutely. So, yeah, I, I, well, you know, I talk about the fact that when I went to Ghana the last time, you know, I spent a lot of time just touching the people. Because mm-hmm. for me, I think that's the most important experience yeah. of, of going back home. Yeah. Wherever it is you go in Africa, just find a way to just go and touch the people. Yeah, and man, you have to. The you love have to be outside, I yeah. felt and, and the people that I connected with um, has stayed with me even through the dark times of the pandemic. I couldn't wait to go and connect with those people yeah. again, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and, and I'm looking forward to doing that again this year. Yeah. Um, two albums, you know, obviously you had the album that completely shut it down. You're still, <laughs> you're still cashing the checks from that, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't, you know, top five top ten that's records. That's, that's Come funny. on, brother. <laughs> You know, a, then you had a second album in 2019, just before the pandemic. Yeah, but, do you think the pandemic kind of slowed the progress of that album down? Or what, what do you think? I think how do you think that album I was think received? That, that album did what it was supposed to do mm. because it was it's called New, it was called New, New African Nation. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was, it was, it was about a message mm. more than anything else. You know, you the, 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 the of, uh, Damien Marley. Damien, Steph London was on there, was Steph he? London was on yeah. there. Ed Sheeran was on there. <laughs> so we had Bwami. Bwami was on that album. Bwami. <laughs> That's a, yeah, just in case you didn't know, we already had an Ed Sheeran collaborator <laughs> in Ghana, <laughs> Infuse ODG. And for some people that don't know, you know, Ed not only lived in Ghana for three months, Around people like yourself, yeah. he recorded. I, I I remember going through Snapchat at the time yeah. and watching Ed Sheeran in your bedroom in the yeah. studio, yeah. recording his vocals, yeah. drinking some of the stuff you guys were giving him out there. <laughs> I, I remember Shocker. those videos. <laughs> I remember yeah, those yeah, videos, yeah. man. Yeah, and that was amazing. Yeah, for me, that moment was important as well, and it was more monumental. For it, for him to come to me, than for me to go to him, mm. um, because even for him, he genuinely wanted, wanted to, to learn. To learn about the yeah, yeah, and he's a genuine guy. He genuinely wanted to be on the soil, connect with the locals, hear the music, mm. be inspired. And it was at the time that he was recording um, the album Divide. Divide. Yeah. Um, and he's got Shape of You on that. On that. You know, and I know that was. His, him being in Ghana and catching the vibes, mm, you know. He saw energy. some shapes in Ghana too. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he definitely saw shapes in Ghana. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it, it was it was important for him to come hmm. to, you know, to actually witness the culture. And he even helped to the school that we were building, yep. contributing to the school. Yep. And I saw how genuine he was as well. You know, we really got close. And we recorded some amazing music. And with Bwame, he he just wanted to like, you know, speak he, he wanted to learn the language, you know, it's learn tree. So and he did it so well. He didn't even speak a word of English in that song. And he killed it. And for, we we wanted to do something that nobody had ever done before. Hmm. And that's what we did with that record. And yeah, man, it, it was it's a classic record. You talked about his album, you were credited on that album, yeah. an album that has gone on to break records worldwide yeah. And, yeah. and pick up Grammy Awards, yeah. which you also received yeah. credits for my brother. Ra, 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 I know a lot of people ra, ra, don't talk ra, ra, about it. Ra, ra, when ra. we talk about Grammy Awards and how <laughs> you know the Nigerian artists are doing this and that and the third, don't you feel a little slighted that the Ghanaians don't rep- recognize that a Ghanaian superstar 
yeah. had been in the mix and picked up plaques and, and all of these things before. Because people talk like, you know, a brother ain't done none yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're selling over a million copies. Yeah. Top three in the United Kingdom, five top ten yeah. hits in the United Kingdom, yeah. Grammy nominated, <laughs> collaborated with, <laughs> with, with uh, Ed Sheeran, arena tours with yeah. Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Credited as a writer, collaborator on the Grammy winning album. Yeah. Don't you feel a little like that my people don't see that? Would you like? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people feel underappreciated. Mm. You know, a lot of people do feel underappreciated. And for me, it, it happens. It happens. Mm. And unfortunately, we live in a world where you're more appreciated when you're not around. Damn. Which is, which is sad. Do you get it? It's, it's very sad. So you have to kind of, you have to write your own story. Hmm. You you have to make your own noise, because um, other people aren't gonna do it, do it for you until you're gone. Hmm. So um, I, yes, of course, it's a, the, I can be recognized more for my contribution to the movement of Afrobeats. Yes, you know, um, I want my kids to be or my my grandkids to be able to read and see what I did. Hmm. But if it's not documented properly then it wouldn't be fair to my legacy. Facts. You get it? So for me, we we have to take it upon ourselves mm. to tell that story. Mm. And I'm going to make sure that, you know, we do myself, Mr. Hackett, you know, we're going to make sure that... And, and it's the same for Africa as well. Facts. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Like, it, Africa, we never told our story. Yes. We left it to someone else to tell it. Yep. And that's how we ended up where we ended up. Hmm. And we have to kind of apply that within ourselves as well. You know, you have to tell your story Facts. because when somebody else tells it for you, they say it in a way that benefits them. Absolutely. From their point of view. Exactly. You know the story about the, the, the lion and the hunter. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, um, but yeah, definitely you feel underappreciated, but you can't get lost mm. in that for too long you mm. should, because the vision is a lot bigger than now. Mm. Do you understand? So, and because we know that there's more coming. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's more coming for Africa. There's Absolutely. more coming for Afrobeats. There's more coming with the movement. And for us, everything that's happening now has been in our vision. Yeah. If you look on it's our vision board, you see... Where we want it to be. You see we have the seeds. And the seeds represents self-love hmm. and love. And before these seeds were planted, it was self-hate that was there and we never used to love who we are Damn. so we have a vision where in the seeds in the, in the yeah, soil but we planted the, the, the self-love seeds and how we would, we've been doing that is through the music what you hear yes it's through the fashion you know the visual the media what you see you know how people are influenced you know <laughs> we have to create all these elements in order to generate the self-love and that's what we have on our vision and this self-love has now it led to us being able to do festivals Absolute. do the dolls <laughs> do you understand so <laughs> talk it, that talk it led it led created the the the, the door yeah oh, do man. you know what i'm saying so it it, it led because now people have this festivals. sense of self-love they want to know where they're from they want to they they're now ready for something like so you, you give them the festivals so you understand and then there's people doing restaurants now that yeah you know, even things that we're not doing that other people are doing it's, it's all in. part of the vision you know what I'm saying and and for us we know the next step as well and and I'm even I'm I'm so excited about it so we're about to drop um an educational app right which is gonna teach our kids the way they should have the way we should have been taught. Mm. Do you understand? So for us, because we see the bigger vision, we can't dwell on the now for too long. You know, we have to stay focused. Thinking about the step forward. We have to, but also being grateful Hmm. as well for the now. Yes. (laughs) So so it's just finding the balance between not getting caught in feeling underappreciated, not getting caught in um, being too grateful, (laughs) and also feeling the sense of hunger. To, to go for the forward. vision, yeah. Speaking about a sense of hunger, yes, there was Tina. Yes, there was the second album, 2019. You talked about the the dolls. The Nana dolls was absolutely Nana incredible. Dolls, 
Thank um, you, bro. Then you also went a step further in bringing a festival to Ghana at the time. So shout outs to the likes of Afro Nation and Afrochella <laughs> now. But yeah. I got to talk that yeah. talk. Yeah, got to yeah. be real with you. Yeah, yeah. My brother Fuse ODG. Yeah. Saw that vision where yeah. you brought the likes of Steph Lord yeah. Dawn. Lethal Bizzle, Skepta, <laughs> Sneak Bo. Everyone was to there. Ghana. Everyone was there. At a time so, when you self funded. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. So for me, it, it, it had to happen because all of us had been sh doing shows in Ibiza, Mallorca, Ayanapa. And I remember saying to them, like, everyone's here because of us. We need to no. take it back home. You know, we need to take this back home. So, and it, at the time, it sounded so outrageous to them. But they were excited about it. Somebody just had to make it happen. Hmm. And for us, because it was already part of our vision, we just knew that we had to do that where you have all these artists from the UK and all these artists from Ghana, like all of us in the same building. So we're able to communicate and, you know, liaise link each up. Other. Yes. And that had never happened before. I know right now it's happening yeah. and it seems normal, but at the but time, it never happened before. It was such a weird thing for Skepta to be there and then Sarkozy is here in the same building in Ghana. Lethal Bizzle's here. Do you know what I'm saying? Steph London is here. Like, it, it was such a, a, a moment for us that we, that night, I remember we all celebrated it so hard. And I remember Skepta feeling so inspired mm -hmm. about, you know, investing and establishing. You know, in in Ghana, in Nigeria, That's where do you understand? His homecoming vision, also. Yeah, exactly, through. exactly, exactly. So, it, it, it that moment had to happen because it sparked a lot of different conversations, and it made people on the outside see what could potentially happen in the motherland. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm, and I'm and I love seeing it. Again, it's all part of the vision. I love seeing what's happening now. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, like, I, I, and I love being uh, one of the first movers as well because I feel like it's always God that's, you know, helping us, you know, just it, giving the vision to us. Absolutely. And then we have to make sure we make the right moves to... To take it to, to the make, next level. Take it to the next level. You're take, talking about taking it to the next level. you got a brand new single. Ra, ra. Now, what do you do, 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 do? What do, you do, do? <laughs> the, the energy feels... Same old Fuse ODG. I yeah. saw you performing in Liverpool. The crowd going that was way wild. Up. Yeah, it was crazy. It's been a minute since I seen you I know, I know. in that vibe, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. in the UK. Yeah. That energy was fantastic. Talk to me about this single. And obviously, this is the door opener to Fuse ODG yeah. touching the dance floor consistently yeah, yeah. from now yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now for sure. Yeah. Now, facts, facts. <laughs> So yeah, now active, you know, this again, this song was, was just a song to connect to the people, catch a vibe with the people, you know the few so DG yeah, vibe. Man. You know, it's going off on TikTok right now with what it do. Yeah. So it's just a good fun vibe, you know, for the people to and also I switched up the flow yeah. a little but you can see you hear the few so DG yeah. energy. Do you know what I'm saying? So and after this one as well, it's another crazy one that's gonna just mash up the dance floor. So I'm very excited for more music. And, you know, more shows mm. and, yeah, just more vibes with the people. Are you planning uh, a project or are you just hitting people with the singles and seeing where it I'm, goes I'm, from there? It, we're doing singles and then there's an album coming after that as well. Mm. So, yeah, definitely. And and it's, the next album was also so spiritual. There's a lot of meditation that's going into it because every album that I've done has encapsulated what's happening now. Mm. So, like... This is new Africa. Yep. It was me letting the world know that it's a new it's Africa. It's a new movement. Now. You can't come and talk no rubbish about Don't us. Don't disrespect Don't us. Don't disrespect us. Like, we are a new movement. We are Africans who fight for Africa to change their perception of Africa. And then the second album was New African Nation. We're now a nation. When, connecting uh, with Jamaica. Yes. Connecting with the UK. Exactly, exactly. Blacks in diaspora holding exactly. arms together type of stuff. Yeah, so that the next one is, is going to be what's happening as well. So I'm excited and I, it's, it's still a meditation, mm. you know, on where it's going, and, and, I, and I love it. Do you yeah. know what I was thinking about a couple of days ago? You mentioned Kill Beach. You guys made history together. Mm -hmm. It's been close to 10 years. Is there ever going to be a situation where Fuse and Kill Beats yeah. make history again I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm going sure. Going forward? Because some of us that witnessed <laughs> you people in the studio, I, I remember driving to your studio once with yeah. Pat Rankin, where yeah. Kill Beats was... 
was sleeping at the time yeah. and you were up. <laughs> and what you and Pato Rankin were doing, Cubits got up from his sleep, yeah. moved to the piano, yeah. and within 15 minutes, yeah. I just sat back and was watching yeah. like greatness yeah. of core. There yeah. was some kind of synergy which looked spiritual to, yeah. to an outsider like me yeah, at yeah. the time that you guys had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely a spiritual connection there. Hmm. There's definitely, and I'm sure that it's... Because it's, it's, now, be obviously, again. we're seeing King Promise. We're seeing all the stuff yeah. that's happening. Yeah. So, it's about... Like, you guys have broken bread. <laughs> it's about time to eat the <laughs> cake together. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of cake to be eating, man. <laughs> Trust me, that's a lot. Why? But, yeah, no, nah, definitely. Um, there's, there's, I'm sure there's going to be a reconnection mm. there at some point. But, you know, again, the journey is the journey. Mm. You know, they're going through the journey as well. And I'm sure eventually... Everybody connects. That's it. Well, you, you know, you spent a lot of time in Ghana in the last couple of years. Who should we be? Obviously, there's the, the, the young guys that have popped up, your Kitty yeah. and Kwame's mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. all of these guys. Who else would you like for us to, to pay attention to? And obviously, what sound should we pay attention yeah, to? Yeah, was it Kamido? Yeah. Definitely Kamido. Kamido's, yeah. Um, he's, yeah, he's, he's someone I really like him because mm. he's, he, he, he's also a servant as well. He knows how to just hustle. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I love his energy. Same. You know, even, like he's been around us from a long time ago. Fact. And wow. I've always enjoyed how he works. Mm. You know, he just... Just sets up and go. Hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And and, and he's he's a massive talent that definitely. I feel like yeah, he, he's he's gonna. You guys should support him Absolutely. because he's, he's definitely fire. We're we're there for that. Um, Felu Nuna, hmm. who's um an artist that I've signed in Ghana. Come on, he's an artist um called Felu Nuna. You can check her out as well. Amazing talent. Like the fact that she's it's a lady too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to support the women as well. Percent. And she's amazing talent. And she's doing a lot of... She's hot in Ghana right now. The kids love her. We're going to check her out. Um, and yeah, she she stands for amazing things, you okay. know, in the industry that can be so harsh to women. She's... 1,000%. Definitely someone who's going to make noise in Fale the future. Luna, we're going to check that out yeah. coming from you. Now, um, yeah, in the yeah. last couple of months, videos also broke social media where we saw that you had jumped the broom. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations uh, to my brother. You got married you, this, this you. year. Yeah, April. Uh, what, what, what's, uh, what's married like? Like Your stomach is not bigger nah. than, you know, your six-pack I'm not trying to get caught. I'm not trying to get caught and all of that, man. You know when someone get married and they're like, oh, wow, <laughs> you looking good. Like, you be eating good. <laughs> So, are you basically telling the missus, like, listen, we're still keeping the same diet. Yo. Don't pack the foo foo too big. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, we're trying to, you know, we have to change that narrative, man. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, no. Nah. But why why do people actually get <laughs> listen, put once on you're married, like that? Like? Once you're married, the missus. Most of the time, you know, they always just want to make sure that their man's good. No matter how busy they are, the food is always on tap. Yeah, you know, yeah, before yeah. you get married, most of the time, as bachelors, we're eating maybe once or twice a day, yeah. if that. But once the lady's in, you might even get dessert. <laughs> <laughs> so, fellas, if you want dessert, you need to put a ring on that finger. <laughs> My brother, and, and finally, about connections, you know, the rumor has it, you know, uh, that when you invited the queen from, from the UK, Steph London, to, uh, to Ghana, was when there was some connections <laughs> out there. So, a lot of things happen when you invite people oh, yeah, back yeah, home. Yeah. A lot of good yeah, connections yeah. happen when you invite yeah, people yeah, yeah. back home. So, when Fuse calls you to come home... Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up, trust me. And they will all tell you, I uh, trust me. It's like a, it's it's a life changing thing. I just see being Michael in Ghana. Blackson, the way yeah. also you re, you know. Yeah, really he now he now it. has this crazy house in Ghana, living like a king Absolutely. in Ghana. Goes to the US and runs back to Ghana whenever he has time because and he touches he knows. down, touches yeah. base with you every time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's and that's really what it should be about, you know. You should be able to own a piece of land in your in your in the motherland. Facts. Especially if you're black. Facts. And it's Facts. possible because if you're not doing it, someone else is doing it. Mm. And 
someone else that's not black is is doing it. Do you know what I'm saying? And this is your home. So at least just visit it and see how it's like because it's where your ancestors are from. You know? So (laughs) And you can have a great time there, you know? It's lit. Listen, it's mad lit. Um again, it's a pleasure to see you looking good. Thank you. You're looking good too, bro. bro. I'm trying to can I just say I'm trying to be like No, I did. Can I just say that you are someone who's always had this energy from day one. Do you know what I'm saying? And been pushing the movement from early, pushing the Afrobeats movement from early. And I, today, I want to say I appreciate I you, appreciate bro. Trust you. me, man. Thank I, you, no, bro. you don't have to say it back Thank to me. You. Take Thank it. You, you understand? Thank I appreciate you, you for your energy. Because you, you, you are a big ball of Thank energy. You. Thank you. Trust brother. me. Yeah, no, listen, You're a man. big ball of energy. Yeah, listen, being and around people like yourself and, and just what you guys have done with the music, I know how Azonto made us feel. Yeah, I yeah. know how it changed appreciate you, our feeling. Yeah, yeah. I know what you. I, antenna but stop. watching YouTube. Stop. stop, I'm appreciating stop. you right now. Yes. You see what you do? Yeah. <laughs> you see what you do? you I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm appreciating you right now. Thank You're you, a big bro. ball of energy. And I'm telling you, like, being flesh is not easy to have energy Facts. like that consistently. Facts. Like, to switch it on like that. Facts. Because we all go through stuff. For you, bro, you have sacrificed. Whatever you're Thank going you. through, Facts. you're probably Facts. going through a whole load of rules. But you always Always putting out raw energy because you know that's the energy that is needed for the people to keep it mm. moving, to keep the Facts. movement moving. Facts. Do you understand? Well, keep the movement in motion. So we appreciate Thank you for you, that. Thank it's you. not going unnoticed, bro. Thank I see you, bro, you, and I appreciate you, Thank bro. You, Trust me, man. That means and that's brother. yeah, man. That's love. That's yo, Thank yo, and that's godly, bro. Man, you. keep, 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 you, keep it like that. We that, appreciate that's you, brother. Deep, man. Ladies me. and gentlemen, the incredibly successful hit making. Proud African from the west side of Africa, Gold ra, Coast to ra, be exact, ra, ra. via South London, ra, ra, goes ra. by the name b- b- Fuse b- on b- 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 <laughs> Yo, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Nah, thank you, man. Thank you. Right. 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 Right.